So the trick to designing a really great uh, newsletter website using WordPress is a combination of three things. And uh, what we're going to do in this video, short video, is walk you through those three dynamics. The first and foremost that you'll notice upon landing uh, on the page is if you're looking in the top corner and looking at the top line is the ability to quickly get to recent content. So whether I want to look at the most recent uh, newsletter archive, like 2011 November or October or September, I need to be able to maneuver through that quickly. And when I click on one of those, what happens is obviously I get taken to the content of the newsletter for November. So that's, that's the first thing that a good newsletter website has to do. It has to aggregate the data by date because you don't want to read an article that's three months old thinking that it was just written yesterday. The second thing that a good site needs to do is it needs to tell you when this was most recently published, which you'll notice we're doing here on the right side. So the current one, and you could put it in the title, you could put it in a banner. We just did it on, in this art on the side, but it, it allows us to say, hey, the most recent content is November 2011. That's the second thing that a good newsletter needs to do to let you know, and this is right. The third thing that a newsletter needs to let you do is allow you to traverse not only this month's, this month's content, but all the previous content by aggregated topic. So for example, if every month you are writing tip articles, then can you navigate to all the tips and just start looking through the tips to get something that's good. On the flip side, if you want to read about the trends, things that are changing, um, then how do, you, how do you get through that material? And if you want to go and find previous training, training that's you know, come over the course of time, how do you get that? Um, so, so the ability to aggregate the data, and you'll notice this is, these are all different dates, right? So if I step into one of these articles, for example, you will notice that um, this one is the November article. And if I go back and take a look at this guy, you'll notice that this is a October article. One of the reasons that we're highlighting the dates so prominently in the left corner here is to make sure that people know um, how old or how current the data is. Now, there's a handful of other things that we've done um, in this particular sample or design when it comes to uh, newsletter design using WordPress. For example, the ability to share content. So if you've written great content and you want that material to go out to the rest of the world or you want someone to be able to propagate your content on their networks, um, we've integrated that sharing capability here. The ability to get from one article to another, whether we're using tags underneath or some other dynamic, allows a user who's reading it to quickly jump to the next article and the next article after that, if it's not topical or it's not driven by the month it was published in. Now, you're probably no noticing a couple other things we've done. For example, the images. In this particular design and layout, we've shown you that one single image of a particular size can be used in the featured piece here. It can be changed in terms of its size for the this month articles. And again, we can configure this to show three, four, five articles for this month. It can be configured differently um, for the trend articles if you want. And when we go into a site, we have the ability to shape it again. So that is one image that's being multi-purpose throughout the site, which when I'm talking about images, it's important to highlight that images really bring a newsletter to life, right? A lot of copy is going to get really boring really quickly. Um, and so that's, that's what you'll notice is the images really draw someone into the content. Now, the other thing to note, two quick ones. Uh, first, Realtor of the Month. We've actually created this because of this particular theme in a function that looks like an interview. So for November, for example, if this is the November spotlight, um, you'll see that it can be in the form of question and answer, description of the person and a photo. So that's interesting. And we've added a events calendar. You may have noticed the events not by the calendar itself um, because we hadn't clicked on this before. But when you come back over here and you're taking a look on the sidebar, you'll notice upcoming events are here. It's only future events and it gets you a quick link back over to the calendar. So that's how we design a calendar and how we design a newsletter that delivers all the value that we expect you should see in a newsletter site. 